Yeah. We are more than honored and humbled, really, to present our next 2017 Champion of Inclusion Award to Mr. Sparsha. Give it up for me again. You don't have to, it's okay, you don't have to call me sir. I'm just a kid. Just a kid living life. Thanks. Thanks so much. Seriously though, this is absolutely amazing. Did anybody agree with me? Yeah, right? So awesome. And I am so honored and I'm so blessed to be part of this, you know, being on stage in front of all of you to receive this award just for being myself. And that, for me, is the epitome of inclusion. So I'm going to thank everyone who's a part of the National Inclusion Project because they've been doing such a great job at making sure that every child, everywhere, every time is included in the U.S. So could you please give them all the round of applause for such a great effort and their continued works Wow, I was, I was all, out of all the people I got to thank, I mean, there's so many. But first of all, I want to thank all of you guys, my fans, my supporters from all around the world. Because as the great, great singer Brian Adams sung, Everything I do, I do it for you. It's true, though. It's true. Because if, if you guys weren't there, what would be the point of me spreading a message? Who would I share it to? To my friends, thank you for giving me some of the most memorable, laughable, lovable moments of my life. Thank you, Dad, for staying up till even 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes, just to let the world know what's going on in my life. To Mom, who couldn't make it here today, she stayed back with my little brother in New Jersey. Thank you for being my go-to vocal coach and always raising me up and pushing me behind the scenes, everywhere we go. To Anuj, my little brother, the angel of my life, thank you for being one of the greatest gifts God has ever given me. I want to thank my teachers and relatives from the U.S. and India and the U.K. for helping me realize my true potential, not just as a student, but as an artist and a person, too. And finally, God, Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for giving me life to live, that I could be a living testimony of your hand in life. Because as I once heard, the most humbling thing one can say is, without God, I am nothing. Yet the most powerful thing one can say is, with God, I can do everything. Today, though, I don't just want to give a regular acceptance speech. I think we probably heard enough from the Oscars and Grammys by now, am I right? <laughs> But I want to give you all a challenge, or actually maybe two. Are you all up for it? Woo! OK, OK, I see you're ready. My first challenge for you is that one day, although this is the National Inclusion Project, we need to turn this into a global phenomenon. Pretty much make it the International Inclusion Project. Because there is, see, in America, thank you. See, in America, we're practically the destroyer of stereotypes, EST 1776. But <laughs> you see, so many people, <laughs> so many people in so many other countries have not been as inclusive to others as we've been. And that's especially towards people with disabilities. And if we're going to bridge the gap between the young community of disabilities and the rest of the world, we need to show by example that we can do whatever everyone else can, because we have that potential with us. But the second challenge, however, is even more important. Today, every day of our lives, let's celebrate our children for being themselves and for being able to make friends in like a heartbeat. Because, yeah, we may all be unique, just like the petals of a flower, <laughs> but in the end, we're all the same because we're disabled just disabled. We're not wheelchair-bound, blind, deaf, mute, autistic, dyslexic, or dystrophic. 
There are almost one billion of us. No, we're not a minority, okay? They laugh at us because we're different. But we're going to laugh at them because they're the same. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Thank you. They see our lives may be filled with struggles, but there is strength in numbers. Three out of every 20 human beings are disabled. So stop treating us differently. You know, I mean, both disabled and able people make mistakes, right? Christopher Columbus got lost. He wasn't blind at all. <laughs> and we need to quit being pitiful of ourselves because we get made fun of or can't do this or that or the other thing or we can't fit in with the crowd. Because guess what? Our hearts are all unchangeable. We are feelers. We gave the world the adventures of Professor X and the music of Beethoven, Stevie Wonder, Kenny G, Ray Charles, Jacqueline Dupre, and Django Reinhardt. And we also gave them the wonder of Captain Underpants. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, we're also thinkers. We're great at math because we discovered the mass energy equation. You know, E equals MC squared for all you math geeks. And we're pretty good at letters, too. We're doctors, engineers, techies, architects, and so much more. But most importantly, we're dedicated, reliable, and have great potential. So you better believe that we mean business. We are huge and efficient. We're all on one time zone. We're all part of one great movement. And though our pace may be a little slow, we're certainly not like the hero who raced the tortoise. We never want anything more than love and acceptance, though, in the end, because we already have everything we need. You know, wheelchairs, Microsoft Sam, hearing aids, Google Glass, prosthetic limbs, braille readers, robots, and of course, <gasps> courage. All us, all beautifully, wonderfully employed. And you're welcome, world, for the telephone that revolutionized long-distance communication, the phonograph which first recorded our dearest memories, and the theory of relativity which helped us understand speed and perspective at a whole new level. Our spirits are strong. Our ideas are strong. Our creations are strong. Society is, to say the least, lucky. Because when the world strives, we exceed. We practically invented discriminatory tolerance. And we gave you Stephen Hawking, Albert Einstein, Alexander Graham Bell, Helen Keller, and even President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Oh yeah, and we also inspired the National Inclusion Project. <laughs> But if there's anything you're going to take away home from this super long acceptance speech, <laughs> see, this world is amazing and awesome. And no matter who or where you are, you can always find the influence of disabled people all over this world. So from today onward, let's say we're not weak, but we are strong. We are disabled, but we are unbreakable. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Aiken, uh, would you mind driving me out of the stage, please? Oh. Thank you. See, told you I was disabled. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great evening.